Here's why we don't really reach into the future. We're trapped either by regret of the past or the routine of the present. So busy with the routine of the present, we don't give much thought to designing the future. Or trapped by the past with regrets of past losses and past failures and past mistakes. And we relive it over and over again, not to the benefit of changing it for the future, but just because, you know, we feel that our lives have been less than favorable simply because of all the things that's happened to us in the past. But here's the real key, is to spend some time, and usually we don't do it until someone comes by and offers the suggestion. That's why meeting the right person at the right time, attending the right class, listening to the right sermon, having a conversation with the right person, sometimes can totally change the direction of your life. And you're never the same after that personal contact, or sitting in that class, or reading that book, or coming face to face with someone who says, hey, you know, our lives are not that good, what could we do to change? And that very conversation starts this whole process. Wow. I'm arrived, arrived at a fairly place. How could I change all of that for the future? And that is all possible. And this point of contact, maybe today, will help change all of that and give some of you a new glimpse of some of the possibilities. We talked a little bit earlier about the possibilities and believing that the possibilities were possible for you, and then going to work and make them happen. But let's talk now about setting goals and see if we can't make this really meaningful. Here's the next key. Make sure that the greatest pull on you is the pull of the future. Not the pull of the past that keeps taking you back. Not the pull of gravity like the present that just keeps you sort of stuck where you are. But we want to make sure that the greatest influence and pull on us is the pull of the future. If you have powerful goals well designed and plenty of them, to stir your imagination. Here's what they will do. Goals become like a magnet. And the bigger they are and the stronger they are and the longer the list and the more things you'd like to acquire during the course of your lifetime, the stronger they pull. And here's the other advantage in setting goals so that these goals begin to pull you in that forward future direction. They pull you through. All kinds of downtime, all kinds of nighttime experiences, all kinds of winters. You can much more easily survive the next crisis, the next winter of your life, if you have well set goals, finely tuned, places you want to go, things you want to do, people you want to meet, skills you want to develop, fortune you want to make, benevolence you want to engage in. If all of that becomes powerful and clear, and you're on your way, I promise you, no matter what happens, those goals will pull you through. You won't be lost in the middle because you'll be able to see beyond. So with that in mind, let's now engage in this little session. It may be one of the most important for the weekend, designing the next 10 years. I want you to take a fresh piece of paper or at least put a title up on one page and call it Goals Workshop. And in this Goals Workshop, I'm going to ask a series of questions and I want you to write down the question first and then do the exercise. Okay. Write down the question first and then do the exercise. You ready to go? Say, let's go. Here's number one. I want you to list five things you've already accomplished that you're proud of. Make a list of five things you've already accomplished that you're proud of. Because all of us have set goals, maybe haphazardly, maybe spasmodically. Even when we were kids, we wished for something, worked hard, and sure enough, we got it. List five achievements, five goals that you've reached in the past already that you're proud of. 
If you want a gold medal at the Olympics, that would be a good one to put on there. <laughs> Whatever you've accomplished, just a list of five things. This is just a little review that, you know, we're not sitting in a very bad place. We've all accomplished some things. Some of us, you know, a lot of things. When you're working with children, this is a good exercise to start with. What have you already accomplished that you're proud of? In this little country town in Idaho, I graduated third in my class in high school. And I'm going to a, another class reunion in September. I graduated in 1949, third in my class. I was pretty proud of that because I wasn't the smartest kid in the world. But... We're called the 49ers, Idaho 49ers, graduated in 1949. It'll be interesting, right? Another class reunion come September. Some of my classmates are still there in this little farm community, farmers, you know, bankers, real estate people. It's a great group. Five things you've already accomplished that you're proud of. Wish we had time here to go over everybody's list of five. I'm sure on some of you we'd be really impressed. Five things, five achievements. So this list of five now proves, right, that you, you already know how to set goals. Maybe not as intensely as we're gonna work on now, but you've already done it. You've already said, hey, this is it for me. I'm going for it, and sure enough, you did. Okay, here's what's next now. I want you to make a list. What are the 50 most important things you can think of that you want to accomplish and have in the next 10 years? So just put at the top of this now my 10 year goals. And I want you to make a list of at least 50 items. Little things, big things, and it doesn't matter what they are. Now this list does not mean the list of the things you think you can acquire. This is a list of the things you want. You just let your mind run free. A list of 50 items that would really do it for you in the next 10 years. If you had this, if you went to these places and met these people, and if you had these skills and these investments, education for your children, all the rest of it. So I want you to take the time now and I want you to go right down the page, not side by side on your goals, right down the page.